Hi guys, in this video, we are going to solve the hacker rank problem solving challenge called Angry Professor. So here we have a professor who decides to cancel the class if not enough students came on time. So we are going to have an array with three values, negative one, zero, and one. So whenever we see negative one in the array, it's going to correspond to students who came before time. If we see zero, it means the students came on time. And if we see one, that means that the students came late. So let me illustrate this better. I have this notepad. So we're going to have A, and A is going to be an array for the arrival times. So the values are going to be negative one for those who came before time, zero for those who came on time, and then one for those who came late. And they can be duplicates. This can be repeated as many times. We're also going to get K. So K is going to be the threshold for the number of class attendees. Then we are going to have A populated. So remember A is our array. If we have something like this, negative one, negative one, double zeros and double ones, that means that these four students came on time. By the time the class was supposed to start, these four students were in the class. So if K equals four and K is our threshold, then the class can go on because we had enough students for the class to proceed. In this case, we have to return no. We are going to have a function that has to return a string and we have to return no. So when we return no, we are answering the question is the class cancelled. In another scenario, k is five, then the class has to be cancelled because we only have four students who came on time, but the threshold is five. So k equals five. In this case, the class is cancelled, so return yes. And yes, again, is the answer to this question right here. Is the class cancelled? So the logic is what I have here on the right side of my screen. You can see that I have this function. It returns a string. It's called angry professor, and it takes in k, which is a threshold as an integer. And it also takes in a vector of integers called a. I've added an ampersand so that the argument can be passed by reference. And the first thing that I want to do is make sure that my vector is sorted. There is no guarantee that the vector is going to be sorted by default. So let's just take care of that. Once we have our vector sorted, I can have this integer variable called on time. And this corresponds to the number of students who came on time. So at first, there are zero students who came on time because we are now starting to collect attendance. Then I have this for loop here. I'm going to run through my entire vector at most. Okay, it's not necessary, but at most we're going to run through the entire vector. And at every iteration, I'm going to check if the value of the element at index i in my vector is less than or equal to zero. If it is, then I want to increase the count of students who came on time by one. Remember that here, the values are negative one and also zero. So these guys came on time. If it's above zero, the value in the array is above zero. This means that the students came late. So we only increment the count of students who came on time if the element at index i is less than or equal to zero. Otherwise, the moment we encounter a value that is greater than zero, we just break and exit this loop. And the reason why we know that we don't have to process the rest of the loop is because the vector is sorted in this first line here. So once we encounter something that is greater than zero, that means that everything after it, if it's not the last element, is also going to be greater than zero because the vector is now sorted in ascending order. So among the total number of students, how many of them came on time? We compare that with our threshold. If it is equal or greater, then we return no to indicate that the class was not canceled. Otherwise, we just return yes to indicate that the class was canceled. So we've passed the sample test case zero. I'm now going to submit this code, make sure that we pass all the test cases. And we just did. So that's it for this hacker rank challenge. If you guys liked my solution and you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications and drop your questions in the comment section. I'll catch you next time. Bye.